Welcome back to another two minute on shape tutorial. This time we're going to continue where we left off and the keen eyed among you may have noticed an issue. Here if I change the side count to 10, then uh oh, some of our rounded fillets are missing. Similarly, if I change the side count to 3, then it's complaining about missing edges, and this makes sense. The way I'm going to fix this is by deleting the fillet and adding these in the sketch manually. First here I'll use the three point arc tool to draw this fillet. And then I'm going to use tangency constraints with T to set this arc to be tangent. Then dimension it using D so that it's constrained. And then I'm going to use the circular pattern feature to repeat this around the radius of our shape. Make sure to pick up the center point and constrain it so that it gets locked in place. And then instead of 3x, here I'm going to change it to be equal to our side count variable. This will result in six fillets. And now I'll just repeat this same process on the top shape. So again, arc, tangent, and then dimension it so that it stays constrained. And finally, the circular pattern, making sure to change it to be our variable count. Now, this is obviously broken loft feature, so I'm just going to go back into that loft feature, clear our selections, and reselect these center faces. And now you can see those fillets are included here. And now we've got to adjust our shell. Again, select the top and bottom face, and we're done. Now we've got a highly parametric model, which no matter how many sides, whether it be three or even something extreme like 16, it does it without a problem. Thanks for watching.